Uh, so, I used to have two of these lanterns. One in front of my dragon, the other one behind my dragon. Then we just had this huge, intense storm with high winds and it blew the 20 pound lantern right off the deck railing onto my driveway below, about 15, 20 feet. Amazingly, the glass in it didn't break, but the lantern, the cast iron itself did, it broke into four pieces. So I picked up the pieces, went to the hardware store and they suggested I try to glue it back together with this JB Weld product. So I'm hoping for the best, fingers crossed. Let's go give it a shot. Oh, and I will be screwing these lanterns into the railing as soon as I'm done with this. I learned my lesson. I'm using these stiff bristled stainless steel brushes to clean off any corrosion or dirt or rust or whatever on the parts that are about to be glued back together. Links in the description if you want to buy some for yourself. So it's pretty straightforward. I've got these pieces that are going to fit back together nicely, but it's this top piece that makes it difficult because it's got these four posts that have to kind of fit just right and a lot of the material is missing. It seems to have just kind of disappeared. So I'm really relying on this adhesive epoxy to, to work. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna give it a good scrub with this stiff bristled brush. Make sure that these pieces are clean when they get joined together. Quick Weld comes with this handy little mixing stick and the package itself is also a mixing tray. I do like that it's two different colors, so when you start to mix it together, you know it's thoroughly mixed when that black and white turn a solid gray. I sped this clip up, but in real life, I mixed it for about 30 seconds. Now the guy at the hardware store told me I could just put some on where the two pieces are going to connect and wipe the excess off, but because I have so much material missing, I'm going to really glop it on. This is it the next morning. I let it sit for 24 hours and it was rock hard. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I put these next two pieces together, set it in my shoe to stabilize it and let it cure for 24 hours. Now it's time for the steel stick. You definitely want to wear gloves when you're mixing up this steel stick. It's an incredible, really thick putty that you can use for a project just like this where, you, where the epoxy would run and be a little messier. This doesn't run. It's, it's just like Play-Doh. It's super thick and after five minutes it's pretty firm. After an hour it's so hard you can drill through it. I've used it before for other things and it's a fantastic product so let's get to it. One package of steel stick allowed me to mix up four little balls. I put one little ball on each post. You gotta move kind of quick because this stuff starts to harden after just a couple of minutes. Once in place, I was able to use my fingers to kind of shape it into all the little nooks and crannies and let it firm up. Then after an hour, sure enough, this was hard as a rock. Now there's one more little thing I need to do to this lantern before I can take it back upstairs and drill it in. When it fell, it got a little tweaked and the door doesn't shut tight right now. so. I'm going to take a file and remove a little bit of these tabs that are blocking it and it should be back to normal. These needle files are perfect for projects that have tight spaces like this. Inspired by the Japanese art of Kintsugi, I'm taking this gold paint marker and painting the repair seams gold. Kintsugi treats breakage and repair as part of the history of an object rather than something to conceal. I think that's kind of cool. I love using my heat gun. I'm going to use it to remove this giant block of old wax that's covering the holes I need to access to secure these lanterns to the railing. I got my dog's stamp of approval. Another job done. No fuss. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell.